Hey, what's going on guys? That is Psycho here and in this video we're going to be creating an editor extension by using Scion, which is my new Unity 5 framework. Um, by using Scion you can create your own editor windows and custom inspectors without having to code um, specifically much. You just have to create a variable if you have to use it. So we're going to be going through that example as well in this video, but note that this is not a tutorial video. A tutorial is inside of the documentation folder in, in the project tab. So if I just, you know, oops, it closed. <laughs> um, I had closed it already, but I defocus Unity. So, it, you know, when I focus back, it just closed up. So we have the initialization uh, document, which is a docs file. You can open it up with WordPad also. And um, it's part one. So more documentations will be added sooner or later. We also have a beta folder, which is the old folder as it's um, named there, um, which includes two different folder, uh, two different documentations, but they are not very, you know, important. They're just for the beta testers, um, which was the old version of Scion. And if you look into it, you will see some pictures of how old Scion looked like. Um, but we're, as I said, it's not going to be a tutorial video. I'm just going to be straightforward creating the editor extension so that you guys can see the power of Scion and also how easy it is to really just create any type of editor extension you want to. First of all, we're going to be loading up the scene that we have inside of the example folder, which is called for Xscene. So now we are going to have a couple game objects. First off, the main camera and then the game of a empty game object that I created in order to locate my base script on. In this video, by the way, this ex editor extension that I'm creating in this video is going to be a custom inspector. Um, you can create a editor extension pretty much by the same logic and you guys will see how you can choose that as well. So let's go ahead and open up Scion. I'm going to go to the window tab and open up Scion right here. Now, um, first off, a really important note for you guys. This will already note you guys about that, but I will just want to point it out. The current file path is the default file path, script located script located in the examples folder. Um, I am, you know, I have set so that it automatically has this file fol uh, file path of the editor script inside of the editor folder, which is inside of the example folder, um, so that it doesn't bug out and you guys don't have to, you know, worry about going to the script and editing it. So first off, you know, it will be set up to this like default file path that I like to call it for. And you can change it to whatever you want. You can use any script you want. But um, in this video, we're going to be creating it based on the editor script, which is included in the folder. So I'm not going to be creating any, you know, external scripts. But if you want to, you can do that. You're completely free to do that. Science supports that. Now, as I told you guys, you'll see that you can choose the type of editor you want to create really, really simply. And here it is. Please choose what type of editor extension you want to create. So I'm going to be creating a custom inspector, so I'm going to just tick that off. I can also choose a custom editor window and, um, you know, we will have to fill out these two text fields. You can find what those mean in the documentation. They are really, really simple, but we're going to go with the custom inspector. So now it's asking us for base script name. Basically, when you create a custom inspector, you need two different scripts. One, this script that you're actually creating a custom inspector of like uh, or better say like you're customizing the script to act as a custom inspector and then you also need a script which is going to be like named as a base script you don't necessarily have to name it for that or call it for that but um, I did and here it is inside of the scripts folder in example um, I have a script called for base script and that's exactly what I'm going to be filling out here and you might have already noticed that, but if you didn't, I'm just going to point it out. If you go to the game object here, you'll see that the base script is attached to it. And that's because manually you cannot attach a editor script onto a game object. Um, basically because it's a editor script and this is a editor extension that we're creating. And the editor script is based upon the base script, which is this one. It's with really, really simple logic as soon as you get into it, but basically just understand this. You need two scripts, one base script, the second, the editor script that you're going to be customizing. Then we also have initializing arrays, but you don't have to click it anymore when you start up Scion. This will um, initialize 
all the arrays in the script by itself when you start off Scion at first. So let's go to the modification panel. Now, as you might see, um, modification panel is pretty much empty right now, but if you click on any single module here, you'll see that it's expanding. But you can also browse between pages with the arrows on each side of the toolbar. But right now there is only there are only two pages, so you know you can just use those two. On the second page there there are text field and help box. So what we we're going to be making is an editor extension, which is going to first off tell you that you need to assign a game object, and um, you know we're basically like going to have a label, which is going to say um, or a help box actually that's much better. So we're going to have this help box. Um, inside of a rectangle which is going to be telling you that you need to assign a game object and then we're going to be having a label uh, which is going to be saying like assign the game object here and then right after it like horizontally aligned is going to be a object field and um, yeah we can just modify it more and I'll show you guys how to do that so first off let's create a label which is going to be the script name um, or not the script name, but let's say that we're creating an asset, you know, we want this asset name on the custom inspector. So let's go ahead and add a large label. I'm going to take that off. And we don't want to edit the width and height. If you leave them as zero, as it says in the help box here, is if you leave them as zero, they will resize automatically. And that's exactly what we want. So adding new label content, we're going to have the label to say the asset name. And I can just say psychos example asset. So add label, and you will see that it pops up in the um, in the showcase module or showcase panel. I'm sorry. So let's make it a little bit more fancy. Would we want? Let's say we want to uh, like align it in the middle. So I'm just gonna click that mark button on the showcase panel, then go to space inside the modification panel. And I'm just going to say horizontal alignment. Align mark modules in the middle. It's going to do that for me. So now I can just, you know, untick that. Um, now this is going to be a large label, which is going to be displaying Psycho's example asset. And it's going to be aligned in the middle. That's perfect. That's what we want. What we want. Now I'm going to create a vertical space, which is going to be surrounded by a box. So that it looks more fancy. Uh, I'm just going to say create vertical space. And then I'm going to add this help box that I was talking about. So, you know, and I'm not like following a, some sort of recipe right now. I'm just like doing this from my mind, um, thinking of how it should look like. And there's going to be some sort of recipe documentation later on coming up. And you can also read, read that about, the, uh, about that on the forum thread of Scion. So you can, you know, just click the link in the description below. I will link it in the description below. I know you guys are lazy just like me. <laughs> so you can just click that link and it will redirect you there. Now let's add this um, help box. We can choose the condition for the help box. We can make it warning. We can make it error sign. But we want to go with info because this is some sort of a tutorial for the user, right? So we're going to take that off and we're going to go back, go down to content. So what will the help box say? Let's say, first off, assign the game object that you want to register. Then click on the button called um, register button. Register button, there we go. <laughs> I spelled that wrong. Let's also add the exclamation mark at the end. There we go. Now we're going to add the help box. And now let's say, um, let's go like straight forward and just add the label where it's going to say like assign the game object here and then add the, um, you know, the game object of uh, like game object field basically. So I want the label and the object field to be aligned right after each other so that they, you know, don't appear vertically, but they appear horizontally. So I'm going to add a new space and it's going to be horizontal space. I'm not going to create a, or actually, I'm, no, you know what? I'm not going to surround this with a box. So I'm just going to create a horizontal space and now add a new label, which is going to be game objects 
Yeah. Uh, let's not make this one large. Let's make this one bold because it's going to require attention. So let's just add the label. And now go to the object field module and we can also choose a condition for the object field. We can, you know, make it ob game object, transform, texture, image, sprite, whatever you want to, even rigid body and camera. But we're going to go with game object because we just want the game object to be assigned. So we're going to take that off. And now here's the important part for you guys. Variable. Basically, you need to create a variable inside of the base script. There will be a module later on coming up with Scion, onto Scion I meant, and which will be letting you create a variable right from the Scion window, so you don't have to go into the script. But right now it's very, very simple, and I'm going to show that to you guys. So what you need to do is to go to the base script that, is, that this editor script is based upon, and um, mainly, which is you know attached to the game object in the, in the hierarchy menu, and just simply create a variable. So the variable type has to be the type of you know condition that you chose per, uh, like earlier. So I had a game object. That means I need to create a public game object, and it's going to be called for um, my object. Nothing too fancy, right? So now we can go back, and we can just simply say we want the variable to be my object, just simply. Just like that. And we're not going to set any width, uh, width and height. Uh, it's not required. So we're just going to add the object field now. Nice, it's added. Now, as you guys know, we have begun a vertical space and then we also have begun a horizontal space. So basically, we also need to end them. And we just go back here and end the horizontal space first because it's the one that is closest to the latest space that has been created. And then we're also going to end the vertical space. There we go. As simple as that. And oh, I forgot something. I forgot to add a button. So we're going to go go ahead and do that. But if we end the vertical there, it's going it's going it's meaning that you know the button will be outside of this rectangle slash box that we created with the begin vertical. So I'm just going to delete this module right here. Oh, by the way, I forgot to, yeah, close the script. There we go. Sorry, sorry. There we go. All right, so I can just, you know, delete the end vertical module and go to body module. And now this is also another important part. So adding buttons will also let you choose what script you want to call this button, like uh, what, what script you want to call a function from. So we're, we can... Uh, Necess you don't necessarily have to use a base script, but I'm gonna do that because it's more simple, and I don't really want to, you know, hassle with creating a lot of scripts. So I'm gonna create a really, really simple void here, uh, public static void actually, because it's obviously a static void that we're calling from an, a different script, so it has to be a static, just like the variables. And we're gonna call this like, this will be or call me. <laughs> Very simple. And inside of it, we're just going to say something even simple, like debug.log um, game object has now been registered. Cool. Now we can go back to Scion, and we're going to input the script name first of all, which is the base script, and then call me, which is the function name. Don't forget to add the parentheses at the end. Um, I didn't make Scion to add the parentheses by itself because you may want to use arguments or not arguments, I'm sorry, par parameters I meant. So if you like use an integer inside of the call me function, you know, you want to maybe call it twice, then you can just do that. It's really, really simple. So we're not going to use any width and height. Um, then we also have to put in a text that the button is going to be displaying. So let's call it for like register register game object and then simply add button now we have begun the, ver begun the horizontal and we all we also have ended it but we didn't end the vertical we deleted that right so we're gonna go back to space and just simply end vertical space and now it's done our editor extension is working properly um, let's close the script because we don't need it now let's go ahead and preview 
So the script will be opening up on this side as your inside of your main text editing software. Um, this is mainly because Unity has to serialize the script and it won't do that before you actually open up the script. So instead of forcing you guys to open up the script, you know, I just did it so uh, Scion will open it up for you. And you can just, you know, click on the X button. It's not really important. You can just, you know, close it down. It's not needed at all. Now I can go back to Unity and close down Scion. Now I can go to the game object and you'll see that I have my editor extension right in front of my eyes. So we have a large label, which is displaying the name of the asset. You don't, you know, you don't necessarily have to have it, but it just, it just kind of makes it more, um, more fancy, I guess. So we have Psycho's example asset and inside of here, as you can see, this is the rectangle that I was talking about, the box, you know, the box that is created with the ver vertical, vertical space. So it says, first off, assign the game object that you want to register, then click on the button to call button called register button or register. Oh yeah, I did call it register button. I meant register game object. Wow. So um, then we can, you know, just like add the game object here. Let's add the main camera and then click on register game object and boom, it's going to be debugging that. And you know, inside of the function that you're calling via the button, you can, you can check if the game object is filled or not. Um, it's really, really simple to edit it. So that is basically how you create a editor extension by using Scion. You can create really, really, really in-depth editor windows and custom inspectors as you wish. Um, you can have as many modules as you want. You can have literally lines of lines of lines of code attached to it and it's still going to work without any problems at all. And if you need support by getting started off with Scion, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can also check out my website at psychos.com or you can also check out the specific website that I created for Scion, which is scion.psychos.com. Um, they will both be linked in the description below. There will also be a link for the forum thread so you guys can follow up the uh, thread on the forum of unity and you know see what updates have been applied and also don't forget that scion is on sale right now on cell phone until it actually gets uh, like up uploaded to the asset store i have submitted the as uh, scion to the asset store but i'm waiting for for a reply from the admins and it usually takes like a week to a couple of weeks so go ahead and buy it from Selfy while it's on uh, 50% off off the original price from $20 to only $10 you can get, you guys can grab your copies right now for only $10 that is a huge discount and I'm doing that only because I've been gaining so much support from you guys while up, uh, you know making this asset come true so this is my thank you to you um hope you guys enjoyed this video if uh, as i said before if you need any support at all or just you know ask questions what this can do and what more can be done please don't hesitate to ask me via the forum or send me a mail at my personal email sam at psychos.com or you know just contact me via youtube comment on this video and if you enjoyed this please don't hesitate to leave a like and maybe even subscribe to stay up to tune for new videos coming soon so once again, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the Unity.